Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Head My Technologies. So in today's video, I'm going to guide you through on how the Corel 2021 environment looks like, how both the workspace looks like, how both the page layout looks like, and other things. So the first thing we are going to do is we need to launch our app. So you click on the app on your desktop after you might have installed it because upon installation it has already created a desktop shortcut for you. So you have to click on the app, you double click and wait for it while it launch. So it's telling us initializing user interface. Loading user settings, creating application environment. Okay, let's just hold on a bit while the app launches. So, this is our app interface. So, this is the welcome screen. You can see the already existing file. I worked on is showing here so you need to create a new document if you want to work on a new document but if you want to keep on working on the old file you are working on you are working on before you click on the old file so I'm going to work on a new document I click on the new document so I name my document at night deck okay I select my page so I can make it anything I can select decide to select my page size to be A4. Okay, let me make it A4. So, so let me make my page size A4. So every other thing is on default. You click on OK. Okay, that's how the Corel Draw 2021 environment looks like. On top here, you can see the menu bar. There you have your file your edit, view, layout, object, effects, bitmaps, test, table, tools, windows, and others. You have your title, your document title bar. You have your word, document property bar. You have your tool bar, where you now have your pick tool, your shape tool, and the rest of them. You have your word, current file tab. Your current file tab, where you'll be seeing the file you're working on, the name of the file, the current ones you're working on. So that's the color palette to the right hand side. That's your color words palette. The store has of what colors. So let me explain a bit about Corel Draw. Corel Draw is a what vector based graphics package that was developed by what Corel Corporation of Canada. What is the use? It is used to do what to create and manipulate shapes and objects. You use it to create and manipulate shapes and objects. Why do we say it's a vector based? It's a vector base here it says that it makes use of what shapes that can be edited shapes that color can be added to shape that effect like shadow can be added to other than your raster page packages just like your Adobe Photoshop so this is how Corel Draw works so in Corel Draw it was created precisely for both vectors so you can create any shape that you want to do here. Maybe you want to create your flyer, you want to create your um, your poster, you want to create maybe uh, you want to create your your business card and the rest of them. You can come to Corel Draw and do that. Not that you can't do that in other graphics packages because we also have other graphics packages. You have your what your Adobe uh, you have your Adobe Illustrator. You have the one that is very popular, you have your Canva and the rest of them. But Corel Draw is just user friendly. That is why most people use it. It's just user friendly. It is easier to relate with other than all other what graphics software. So it's easier to relate to it. When you check on other ones, you will, at times you do find it a bit difficult to relate with them. But in Corel Draw, everything is what self-explanatory and elaborate. So whenever you look at it, you can easily relate with it because it, some of the things you are seeing on Corel Draw is combination of both text and symbols. Other than other apps, maybe you'll be seeing on the icons, and at times icons are difficult to do or to relate with. So that's just the thing. So the thing again is I'll be guiding you through 
all these environments one after the other, what is inside each element in each bar or in each bar. So let me start. The first thing we have there is your words. You have your words, your title, document title bar. Here you have your Corel 2021 with the word name of the file you are working with. There is that is Corel 2021 64 bit with the name of the file you are working with. So the next thing we have there is your menu bar. Here you have your file, and once you click on them, each of them has a drop down menu. You click on file, you can see the drop down. You have your new, you can see your new. It has to create a new document, or you can press Ctrl N. You have new from template in case you have a kind of a template you have created. You can create new from template to select a new template and work on. You have your open to open a document. Your control O that is the short command or short code. So you have your open recent to open the recent files you have worked on. You have document management. There you can open your document or save. You have close, close or you have save. Save as why this save is not showing is because we have not affected any changes. As you mean, we have made some small changes on this file. The save, the icon will show, but you have save as because the document has not really been saved to a location. Instead, we just gave the document in there, but it have not been saved to a location. So we need to save it to a location. So let's do that. To click on save as, let's say we select a location to be our desktop. We click on save. So we have already saved it to a location. So you can see that automatically it has changed. It now shows you that the C users inside users folder, inside a nice step web folder, inside desktop folder, then you have the file. Add my step dot CDR. Why is it showing the CDR? The CDR is a file extension for seven words correct draw files. Every correct draw files you are working with you must end with what the CDR and CDR is just correct draw. Yeah, just the thing. The CDR is just a correct draw word file. So that's the thing. So the next thing, let's check the next thing we have for file. The next thing we have is save as template. You can save the work you have done as template, and after you now select a new file from template. You can also acquire image. Yes, you can acquire image. You can import things, either you import a document that has been created or import image or anything. So you can export. Yes, you can export your file. Maybe you can export as image or PNG. You can export for what? Office, Web, WordPress and multiple files. You can send to Bluetooth. You can even send the file to Bluetooth from the uh, file, the, the correct row or to workspace or environment. You can also publish to PDF. Why you are not seeing this icon is no changes has been affected on this document. As you mean there have been changes on the correct row workspace that is showing the, 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 the uh, document like shape. You will see all this icon will be live. Okay, for example, let's create something. Let's just drop a shape. Let's say we click on one of our two, the rectangle tool, and decide to drag a shape. So when we drag a shape here, you go back to your file. You notice that some of these ones that was off before is now alive. Like your published to PDF is now alive. What well, again, your save is now alive. So you need to save because there has been a current change is made to the file. So you need to click on your save to save the changes. So you have saved the changes. So you can see that publish to PDF is now alive. So when you click on it, you what publish the file as PDF. You know what PDF means? The portable network what uh, sorry, the portable document format. So the next thing you have there is a print match. Okay? Print match. You use this uh function or option to print document, to create document the way it should be, with a line in the way it should be printed. So you have print, your control P just to print, you have your print preview just like a MS Word. You have your document properties, so once you click on these document properties, it tells you, the, it gives you the information about this particular document you are working with. It gives you the detailed information about this word, particular document you are working with. So that's just that you can click on cancel. So let's check out the next thing there. We have the exit. In case you want to close the app, you can just click on here which will close the app entirely. So let's look at the next thing on the uh, menu bar. We have the deeds. It said that you should undo create, control Z if you want to undo. If you want to redo, it's control shift Z, correct? Repeat is control R, 
Cut is control X, copy is control C. You have copy from properties because some of them are not allowed because you have not uh, added something that is related to that. So once you make some changes that are related to that, you will see that some of those tags will be alive. So you have your delete. In case you want to delete the shape or the object you created, you have duplicate control D. You have clone. You have select all. In case you want to select all, you can either select all as object, as test, as guideline. So you can find and replace. In case you are working with tests that are multiple and you are looking for a particular set of tests that, that appeared multiple times, you can click on find. If you find the test, you add what you want to replace it with. Just click on it. It will replace it automatically. Okay. So you have what you call the step and repeat. Then control shift D. So along the line of this tutorial, uh, because it's a series, I will teach you all you need to know in correct mode, one after the other. So the next tab we have there is a, uh, you have view, tab, you have the wireframe, the normal, the enhance, the pixels, the full screen preview, in case you want to preview your screen, you can just press your F9 on your keyboard. You can see that it's full screen. So if you want to do that, if you want to return, you click on your escape. You will return to the normal screen. So that's just the thing. So we have the effect. That's the effect or on your correct way. Like you want to add effect, maybe your image effect or anything you want to add. You can come to this effect and select it. You have bitmap and the rest of them. So you have the words. We call this place your words. Your document, um, call this your, 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 your property bar. Property bar. Here you have your words, your open, your save, your open, your add document, your save, save to cloud, print, and the rest of them. The next thing you have is your document property bar. Here you now, if you click on your pick two here, you now see that you have the paper size or page size, anyone you want to call it. You now have your word, your the page dimensions. You have the one dimension that goes, you have the one with width and you have the one with height. So you have your page word uh, orientation. Either you can see your portrait mode or you can switch to what landscape mode or you switch back to what portrait mode. So you have your unit measurement. You can set your measurement, measurement here. Normally by default, A4 says this measurement by default in correct row to millimeters. Or you can set to inches if you want to work with inches. If you want to work with pieces, you set to pieces. If you want to work with points, you set to points. If you want to work with dots, you set to that. If you want to work with feet, for those people that are printing your billboard, you can always set to feet and print. But at times, depending on the measurement of the machine and how the machine prints, it's always advisable to set in inches. Okay? So the next thing we have there is um, we have um. The, the, we have the knocked distance. I'll be teaching this further on in the course of this tutorial. I'll teach you. So you have your duplicate distance. As you are duplicating, the distance is supposed to be given through the duplicate. So that's the thing. So thank you very much. In our next class, in our next uh, series, we'll be talking about uh, the correct raw tools, the functions, and how it's being used. Thank you so much. Please, if you find this uh, content useful, please do comment, like, share, and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not. So, see you next on our next uh, series, the correct role tools and function. Thank you.